Welcome to Octopus Tutorial. Octopus is a web scraping tool specifically designed for mass gathering of various data types. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you some extensions for editing and generating XPath. They are extensions to the Firefox browser called Firebug and Firepath. Firepath is a Firebug extension that adds a development to edit, inspect and generate XPath expressions. Before learning how to edit and generate XPath expressions, you will learn how to install Firebug and Firepath first. Open the Mozilla Firefox browser and click the Open menu to select the Add-ons section. Enter Firebug in the search bar. Then hit the Install button. Enter Firepath in the search bar and click install. Back to the start page. And navigate to an example link. I'm going to keep things very simple and easy. Once the browser has loaded the page, click on the Firebug icon in the top right corner. I would find the HTML on this page that refers to that web elements. Now, I first click on the inspect button, and then hover the cursor over the web page. You will see blue borders appear when you move the cursor. I will choose the amount, and click the corresponding HTML to copy XPath. Then, I will use this XPath expression in Octopus as well. First, set basic information. Enter the task name. Then click next to the second step. Enter the example URL in the build and browser. I will choose other element for a test. Click the number in the web page. Select extract text. Then, click the field, and click on the Customize Field button. Select the second option to find ways to locate an item. Paste the path expression we just copied from Firebug into matching XPath bar. Then click OK. You would see the element extracted has been changed to the amount. We can edit XPath expressions by ourselves. Let's go back to look at HTML in Firebug. Go back to Firefox browser. We can see that the XPath expression for the amount. It means to select all elements in the document that have a ID attribute with a value of GDP. So if we want to grab the element growth rate, 7.2%, and this is the HTML. It means to select the second span element in the document that have an ID attribute with a value of rate. So this should be the XPath. Let's put these two path expressions separately into matching XPath bar to see if they really work. Enter the first one into matching XPath bar. Then click OK. It shows the rate is extracted. Let's try the second one. It shows the rate is extracted as well. 
We have learned how to edit and create XPath expressions by using some useful Firefox extensions. For more tutorials please check out octopus.com. Thanks for watching.